Right, I've come to the front end of the band because now is the time to bleed the brakes. What I'm going to use is a pressure bleeder. The first job I want to do is remove the old oil that's inside the reservoir. So I'm just going to clean the top of the reservoir so I'm not contaminating the contents of the reservoir. So put a rag underneath the reservoir so I'm not going to spill any oil on the paintwork or brake fluid should I say. And here we have it, my oil extractor. So I'm going to suck out the oil that's inside the reservoir. So I'm just going to loosen the top now. There will be a bit of brake fluid within that top. So it will leak a little bit. Just drain it off back into the reservoir. And with my oil extractor, I'm going to pump out the old brake fluid. Can't see a gauze filter in there, so just pop my hose in there. Pump up my oil extractor. And that should empty the brake fluid from the reservoir. You probably could just hear that. So that's the brake, the old brake fluid removed from the reservoir. Next, what I do have is a brake pressure bleeder. I've got a special cap that will replace the original cap on the brake reservoir. Screw that into place, make sure it's tight. And there's a quick release coupling on the brake pressure Bleed it, it's a case of clicking that into place and pressurising it up to around about 20 psi. That in turn will fill up the brake reservoir and help to bleed the brake system upon the van. Pump it up a bit more. Not quite 20 psi yet. There we go, 20 psi. I'm not going to bleed the brake straight away. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave it for five minutes, go around the brake system, make sure enough is leaking, especially because I've had the calipers off and brake hoses off as well. Just make sure nothing is leaking. Okay, so. I've left it pressurised for a good five minutes. The pressure hasn't dropped off. There's no leaks upon the brake system, so I can go ahead and bleed the brakes. What I have done is turned the ignition onto the on position, or the running position, should I say. Just want to make sure my bleed nipper is going to crack off okay, which it has. With my bleed bottle, which is around about a litre, on the end of the bleed bottle is a rubber hose and adapter to go onto your bleed nipple. Just going to press down the adapter onto the bleed nipple and crack off the bleed nipple. Now I'm starting off at the near side rear brakes, bleeding them off first. I'm going to wait until it's about a quarter full. I do have to maintain the brake pressure in order to bleed the brakes through. It is a slow process by the way. Obviously I have to maintain the pressure of 20 psi whilst I'm bleeding the brakes and keeping an eye on the brake fluid within the pressure bleeder. Just give that a couple of pumps. There we go. Run about a quarter full upon that bottle. 
Next, just close off your bleed nipple upon your brake caliper and pull off the adapter off the bleed nipple. Give that a quick clean up, just make sure it's all tight. Next one, near side front. As you can see, there is some air bulbs in there. The next caliper to bleed is the offside front. And the last caliper to bleed is the offside rear. <sighs> and if you've got ABS, you might have to do this two or three times. This is my third attempt. And there's still air coming out of it. Right, let's see what that pedal's like. And there we have it. It does appear I do have a good, firm brake pedal. Didn't want it to do that. What I wanted to do is bleed the brake system like how I've just done it then, and still have a spongy brake pedal. However, not the case for me. But it is a problem if you've got the ABS brakes fitted upon your Iveco daily. Now the way the Iveco daily dealerships do it is plug in an easy scan tool within the diagnostic port. Then they go through the brake bleed process because it operates the ABS pump that's fitted on the van. The other way you could do it, if you've still got a spongy brake pedal after bleeding the brakes, find yourself a nice quiet gravelly road. Luckily I have got a long driveway I can do this on. Just drive along, don't have to go too fast and stamp on your brakes. And apply your brake sharply so it all locks up until you can feel the brake pedal vibrate due to the ABS kicking in. Turn your engine on and off again, give your brake a couple of presses and that should give you a firm brake pedal. What it does is operates the ABS system and just pumps up the brake fluid within the ABS system. So that's it for the brakes, I'm going to go off and rip out the entire contents of my camper van. Oh, it's too old to be jumping out with that.